dear students welcome to all of you to today's class first of all a very good morning to all of you but before starting the class as usual let's do brahmanath open your eyes so as you know today we are going to read a new chapter and this is an one act play named the unexpected written by ella atkins okay so but before starting it let me tell you what is the meaning of the word the unexpected so dear students in the previous class we have read up to paragraph number 24 of the chapter the unexpected and what was the theme look in the previous class i have told you one thing that these are the characters and listen i'm giving you a clear cut picture there was a cottage in the cottage mrs parker was living and she was living alone suddenly one afternoon what happened alice and tom came to visit this lady and they were having a wonderful piece of news means there was a surprising news and what's that according to alice and tom two convicts are being escaped from the jail and now they are moving here and there that's why they came to warn mrs parker understood but mrs parker was speaking them that you just go to back to your home because your mother must be worried of you then she was going to prepare tea for alice and tom means she was going to bring cup and saucer for them In the meantime Joe Badger entered and when Joe Badger entered here he is asking to these two boy why you are here and they are also asking the same question to Joe Badger then Joe is speaking that she, he has to ask some questions to Mrs Parker because he wanted to help his uncle who is the constable in the village okay now go to paragraph number 25 tom then why not do it first and boast about it afterwards then It is mentioned that Joe is speaking that he is not nervous of the two convicts and he is having the desire to arrest one of them. And then Tom is speaking. Then you just go do arrest them. Why are you speaking all these things? You just go and arrest them. Who is speaking? Tom is speaking to Joe. Joe, that will be quite as much shots as I will need from you, Tom. Just because you have only a couple of projects at school, you think you can give yourself A's. Well, let me tell you something. My education education means education may not be so fine as yours but i have been taking correspondence lesson from a school of detectives and a four you knows where you are i will be top of the force see then jo is speaking that why are you giving such rough behavior shows means rough behavior why are you doing such rough behavior i may not be good at study you might be securing very good position very good marks in your classes but let me tell you one thing my education is not that much of fine like yours but i'm taking correspondence lessons from a school of detectives and very soon i will be in the top force means i will be in the top position alice up left don't be silly chump jo chump means here it is referring to a loser a person who defeats you are too much of a grass bag gas bag to make a decent detective then it is being spoken that you are an empty talker what gas bag means empty talker empty talker means what look you must have heard a proverb empty vessel sound much is yes or no so here empty talker means a person who speaks a lot but in, but in reality he can do nothing that type of person is known as the gas bag to make a decent detective and you are not eligible to be a decent detective who is speaking alice is speaking to joe joe angrily oh i oh am i that's as maybe sheen i tell you i'm going to catch one and maybe both of them convicts and before i go there's one or two questions i would like to ask mrs parker i have been hearing things down in the village and what i want to know is why should a lady like her want to live alone in a place like this then joe is speaking oh really okay then let me prove myself but before going i would like to ask some of the questions to mrs parker and that is why this lady is having the desire to live in such a place like this means why she is living alone here 
Mrs. Parker is obviously startled and Mrs. Parker was very surprised by listening this question. Why should she live as near to the prison as she possibly can and never encourage any visitor to see her unless it be you two boys maybe? Then she is asking another question. Why is she living too close to the prisoner? To the prison, not prisoner, to the prison. And why is she not letting anyone else to visit her home except you two boys? Who is speaking? This Joe is speaking to Tom and Alice as well as means he is speaking to these two boys but Mrs. Parker was also present there. Mrs. Parker interpreting, wait a minute Tom to Joe, why are you asking this question? Then Mrs. Parker to Tom he is speaking, wait a minute Tom, why you are asking such question? Then she looked towards Joe and asked him, why you are asking such questions? Joe, more calmly because I have been hearing things down the village. That's why, mind you, I be making no accusation against you. But when my aunt wanted you to take over one of her bodies last summer, you not hear of it, not for any price she offered you. Then something is written here and what's that? Joe is speaking that, remember, I may not be accusing you but tell me one thing when my aunt wanted to take over one of her borders last summer means when my aunt wanted that one of her borders will be here why didn't you accept it you would not hear of it not for any price you for you even you rejected the money you didn't accept the money also well what made people wonder why you always want to be so private like and people are also Having the desire, no, why you are too much private? Why don't you talk to people? Why you are not mixing with people? Why you are living in an isolated area? Why you are completely isolated from others? These are the questions asked to Mrs. Parker by Joe. And this is the truth that why this lady is living alone in a small cottage. And Mrs. Parker, I would thank the people of the village to mind their own business. Then Mrs. Parker is speaking, that is none of the business of the villages. Better, they should be engaged in their own business. Joe S. But that's not all. I have been doing a little detective work around here myself and this last half hour. What be a lady like you doing with a bankless sports car hidden away in an old shed where no one be likely to notice it? Then Joe is speaking that I am doing a little bit detective work. But tell me one thing. Why are you hiding a bankless sports car? In your shed, which is unnoticed by everyone. Did you understand? Joe's questions were not valueless. He was asking that why you are having a sports car, but it is not noticed to anyone and you have hidden it. Mrs. Parker, now thoroughly alarmed. Why? How dare you spy on me like this? You will be accusing me of finding the convicts next. Then Mrs. Parker she became furious and she started speaking. Why are you accusing me? And how dare you to spy me like this? To spy on me like this? And next you are definitely going to accuse me that I have hidden the culprit. I have hidden the prisoners in my house. So, that is maybe my uncle be the constable and if I want to join the force myself. It's my business to find out things. That's why I be asking questions. Then Joe is speaking. That might be correct. As my uncle is a constable and I am also going to join the force very soon, so I have the desire to ask you some questions. Tom, if you are not careful, you will find out something you don't want to know. I have a good mind to knock your block off for this. Okay, so here what is mentioned? That Tom is speaking, mind your questions, mind your words, otherwise I am going to hit your head. I am going to punish you who is speaking Tom is speaking knock your block knock your block means hit your head and Mrs. Parker please Tom don't let's have any fighting Joe has been reading too many detective stories I expect that's the cause of the trouble then Mrs. Parker is speaking no no Tom just be silent Joe is reading a number of detective story that's why he's asking number of questions crossing left to Joe now listen Joe, I want you to leave this house at once. Perhaps you don't realize that you insulted me just now. But I want you 
to go home before you cause any further unpleasantness then she is speaking that joy you just leave the place because right now you have insulted me and i don't want to create any unpleasant surrounding any unpleasant circumstance but before it you just go home the sports car you saw this afternoon belongs to my nephew if that is any satisfaction to your curiosity opening door left now go away joe please and for goodness sake stop reading silly detective stories then she is speaking and the sports car that is belonging to my nephew and for god's sake don't ask such silly question and says open the door now you just go and stop asking me this type of silly questions joe at the door left very well mrs parker i will be going but mind i warn you i am going to get to the bottom of this then joe is speaking okay mrs parker i am going but mind i am going to the depth of this case why all these things are happening and why you are here alice coming down left you will get to the bottom of the duck pond if you don't clear out quickly exit joe hurriedly then alice is speaking just go and he is also speaking that if you are not going to leave this place very soon the problem the situation will be troublesome mrs parker then mrs parker coming down left corner and sitting in armchair i'm afraid he is going to make a great deal of trouble for me then alice uh, she just, he just crossed the right to the table the cheek of that beater and mrs parker is speaking that this boy is going to create lot of trouble for me tom sitting right up a table he would better not you know mrs parker you have been that good dog good to us fellows that anyone who starts making trouble for you is going to get a nasty tap on the nose nasty tap means dirty tap okay punch nasty means actually dirty tap on the nose means here it is referring some unpleasant circumstances or insult like that then tom is speaking you just don't worry you are good to watch we will protect you if someone is going to accuse you then we are going to stop all these things alice Rather I say though fancy you have you you are having a bankless sports car hidden away in that old state why have you never told us about it then Alice is speaking okay but you are having a sports car why didn't you speak it to us Mrs Parker because you might have worried me to let you drive it come now hurry up and drink that tea i want you to go or your mother will be worried then mrs parker is speaking ha i didn't speak you because you will create trouble for me and they always ask me to drive that one and you will ask to drive that one by yourself that's why i didn't speak but right now take tea and go to your home because your mother must be worried tom between sips of tea no fear we are not going home eight we don't like the idea of leaving you here alone then tom is taking tea sipping uh, tea coffee that is known as sipping tom is sipping tea and speaking actually we don't want to go right now and mrs parker in great agitation but you must go i tell you then mrs parker is speaking no no you must go i speak you alice i say mrs parker what's up you seem awfully worried this afternoon then alice is speaking what happened mrs parker you are looking terribly worried this afternoon is there any problem alice rising and crossing left corner then there is something wrong please let us what is it is then alice is speaking that then definitely there must be some wrong what happened is there any problem you just speak out mrs park listen boys ever since i took this cottage we three have been pals pals means your friends haven't we then mrs park is speaking that since long i have taken this cottage we three are quite good friends tom you bet we have mrs parker will you both promise me on your honor that you will never repeat what i am going to tell you then mrs parker is speaking you just promise me i am going to speak you something that you will never ever disclose it alice tom why of course tom is speaking ha huh, of course we promise then alice is speaking then tom is also speaking yes we promise of course okay so with this your unit one is over then in the next class we will read section 2 so listen so here in unit 2 what is mentioned joe entered and joe asked silly questions to mrs parker that why she is living here why she is not taking any other people in why she is having a sports car in her shed which is on notice by everyone and when joe is being left the same question is being asked by tom that why she is having a sports car then 
Mrs. Parker is asking them that I am going to speak you something but promise me you will never ever disclose this secret. Okay. So with this your unit 1 is over. So you just read it. Watch the video. Any doubt you have you can ask me. So till the time have a nice time.